Hello, everybody. I hope everyone is having a fearless and fun Friday. I actually had just a few minutes before I jump on a podcast with Mark Mitri and wanted to do a quick check-in. So I was listening to a video this morning that really got me inspired to come on and tell you guys a little bit more about me and my entrepreneurial journey. So I actually am very proud of the fact that I have built my entire business from the ground up. I had no investors. I actually had next to nothing as far as resources. As a matter of fact, before I started my business, I actually um, was working two jobs, one at a bar and one as a telemarketer. And so you can imagine that that did not bring in a ton of money. But you know, I was a hard worker and I had the things that I believed in and I had a lot of integrity which kept me going. So I always just did what was on my plate to keep me moving forward. And this year, we've made a really big decision at my company, which is we are starting something that I'm calling the core four. And the core four means that you pick four areas of your business or four areas of your life that you really want to invest everything in. Okay, so I'm going to share with you my personal core four, and I invite all of you to also choose a core four. Now, remember, you can choose this for your business. You can choose this for your personal life. You can choose it for your relationship, but it's just that you're going to pick four things that you're going to focus on for any given period of time. This doesn't have to be 2018. This can be until you've accomplished one of them and you want to change one, but it really just helps to keep you focused. You're focused on a narrow specific um, types of ideas instead of expanding so much to the point where you're overwhelmed and now you can't accomplish anything because you're trying to accomplish everything. And so in my business over the last 20 years, I've accumulated over $40 million. It's been a huge success. It's um, created massive amounts of abundance in my life, as well as the lives of my employees and been a huge um, contrib contributor to our local economy here in Champaign, Illinois. Okay. So my core four for, for myself this year is number one, they're not really in any order, but I will say my children. So I have two boys. They are 16 and 17. Their names are Keegan and Hayden. My older son, Keegan, is on the autism spectrum. So he has a, some um, special needs. And I really want my one of my core four to be focusing on my children this year. Um, another one of my core four is my mid-state that's the name of my business, my mid-state business goals. So that means something to me. It doesn't mean anything to you guys, and that's fine. So the next one is the Mary Shores brands and the core four that we have built for that. And the last one is my health. And so what does this mean for me exactly? What this means is that I really need to be understanding that all of my decisions, all of my energy need to be directed through those four core areas of life. And anytime that I'm doing something that's outside of those four things, then I really have to I have to ask myself, what is the probability of me doing this that it's going to lead to one of my core four or, or build up to one of my core four happening? My last core four that I'm focusing on right now is health and actually healing is a better word because throughout the journey of writing the book and throughout just like everything that's happened in the last three to five years in my life, um, it's taken a toll on my heart. It's taken a toll even on my weight. So actually today, this is like a really incredible day to like come on here and announce this. Today I'm starting the whole 30 program. Now, as far as I understand, Whole30 is a program where you eat only whole foods and you do this for 30 days. So it's an elimination diet designed to like reduce inflammation in your body. And so I think that the writing process and the publishing process and all of the all of the things that I've had to do to promote the book has taken a tremendous toll. It's like put me at capacity for a lot of things in my life. And that's why that's really what's behind this core four because we get so many ideas and we want to chase all of them. But what if you just said, I want four things that are going to be my main focus. Now, this is different than goal setting, okay? Because core 
four is more about what are the four areas of your life that you are focusing on right now. Now, if it's a business, what are the four areas that you're going to concentrate your energies on this year in business? So we've been We've been on a core four obsession here at my office and it's been so much fun, really, like more than I ever thought possible. So now once you have your core four, what we're going to do, oh, thank you, Karen. I really appreciate that. And I want to also say hi to Emlyn if she's still on. So what we're going to do once we have our core four is we want to look at writing an action plan because the core four can really become your, it can become your business plan, it can become your life plan for whatever given a period of time. So I'll use a period of time of one year. So when I write, I'm gonna write an action plan for each one of the four items. Now you can find your action plan if you go to the files section of the Fearless Ambition Facebook group, go to the files section, there are a couple of workbooks there that each of them have the blueprint for a one page action plan at the end of the book. So one is dream with a deadline and the other one is ignite your dreams. Ignite your dreams has the fullest version of the one page action plan. So download that, go to the last part of it and read the instructions for the one page action plan. Now, secondly, I want to say that after you have your action plan, which is going to be for each one of the four areas. So for me, remember, it's my business, my personal brand, my children, and my healing. Okay, so I need to write an action plan for each one of these four things. And then I'm going to write more of a work back plan where I'm going to take a date, say the end of the year, and I'm going to create myself some deadlines. So for example, um, I shared, I can't actually believe that I'm saying this out loud publicly, that I shared today is my day one of the whole 30 program. And so my plan is that at day 31, this is when I'm going to be starting to reintroduce some home exercise into my life. And so I've sort of got this plan of how I'm going to go about this healing. Now, healing just isn't only about the physical body. Healing is also about some things that have affected my heart. And if you know, if you're reading my book, then you know a lot about my story. And you know a lot about some of the tragedies that I've been through in life. So what I want to say about that is like in April, I'm going on a meditation retreat. You know, that's really a heart focused meditation retreat that is designed specifically for um, creating balance and, and a, a sense of love in the heart. So I'm really looking forward to that. But like basically everything I'm doing, I'm driving in and through these core four areas of life. So again, my name is Mary Shores. Today, I'm just talking about how proud I am that I have built an eight-figure business from the ground up. I've become a best-selling author. I'm doing everything and anything that I can to mentor other people because I know, basically, if I can do it, and Emily, and I, you know, I know you're young, sweetie, but the truth is, if I can do it, and I was a young girl, and I had two babies, I know that you can too. And whatever your circumstances are, really everything is actionable. Everything you think you can do, you really can do it. But you can't just sit around and think about it all the time. You have to actually take action and always be moving one step in the direction of your goals or your core four or whatever it is you're doing. And so that can look like things like taking an online class, you know, asking questions in a community, just however, you know, whatever your words are for your core four, just make sure you're always moving those forward. So, all right, I want to say goodbye for now because I'm actually getting ready to uh, jump on a podcast and I don't want to be late. All right, sayonara. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.